Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Dice Matrix. I'm going to uh, uh, open a couple of random packs here of the new uh, Dominaria uh, packs that uh, my friends gave me. From uh, I actually left a job that I had been doing for the last like 17 years, and uh, they got me a couple of cool things on the way out. Um, some, of course, is um, some really nice dice. Um, these are my, if you know me, I'm a big Green Bay Packers fan, and there's some green and uh, yellow dice here, and then some cool blue dice. Um, I got a lot of beautiful, wonderful cards from people saying that they love me, and um, honestly, um, they must be on crack because I'm not lovable. I'm just kidding. Everybody was really nice. Um, and I got this awesome Plumbus and uh, Pickle Rick uh, thing here. I was just going to open this real quick before I get into the um, unboxing of those. Let me see if I can give you a better angle, guys, a little higher. Sorry. Oh, and then my friend Leanne also made me a little personal cake. Thank you, Vaughn. You're the best. People are so sweet. Okay. I just want to see what this what this thing looks like out of the box. If y'all are fans of Rick and Morty, Pickle Rick is awesome. Oh. Apparently, I'm going to have to do some cleaning up here because I'm messy. What? Look at this. Oh, it's like a salt shaker. Awesome. And there's the Pumas. That's awesome. Like you put this, the contents in the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's great. Great ceramic. This is a this is this is a accoutrements that everybody needs. Can you imagine putting some pepper or salt on using pickle rick? <laughs> that is amazing. Awesome. Well, very cool. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. I'm gonna keep this in here for inspiration. Get some of this out of the way. Another shout out, uh, also a shout out, I didn't bring it, my buddy Jabba brought me in today, uh, the dice from the Han Solo movie, and I hang them over my mirror, they're fantastic. All right, I'm just going to um, start cracking this open, give me 10 seconds here, not even 10 seconds, I'm just going to, 3 seconds, I'm going to grab some uh, little cheetah readers, okay, now, there we go, let's see what's, uh, now, I still play a Monday Night Magic game, but I haven't played in a while, I've been really slacking, um, lately so i haven't really kept up on um a lot of the the cards and stuff it looks like they're bringing the saplings back that's pretty cool um some common ones here we'll just kind of flip through them these honestly i have not seen any of these cards yet so um i'll have to look back and look at the abilities when cruising during usually if it was kicked oh they bring them back kickers okay that's nice death touch i've played magic for a long time people but you know, it all gets into the uncommons and um, oh, classic, just seven, six, just a worm. All right. Okay, now we're getting into what people like to see, which are the uh, uncommons here. Got an 06 Defender Wall. Can spin two. Green's Indestructibility in a turn. That's always a nice one. Enchantment Permanent. The permanent gets hexproof. That's nice. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, here's a Planeswalker. I think that is the symbol. Is that Mythic? Karn? Scion of Urza, and then a, another uncommon at the back here. Uh, I think that might be a really good card. I'll look that up later, guys, but this is a Planeswalker, Karn, uh, Scion of Urza. Wow, that is a sweet card. I think the first pack, I just hit lightning on that. Get a little closer so you guys can see all the details on that. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you look at Planeswalkers and and uh rares and mythic rares and you're like wow this should be like great this card's probably trading for like a dollar or ten dollars or something and then it's the opposite of what you think it's either more or less than you think but usually planeswalkers are ranked pretty well but anyway that's exciting let's see what else we got in here i'm pretty lucky on packs um anyway but that i'm very happy i love planeswalker cards we got some turtles some blessing ben's like i love the artwork on this Power Shard, what do we got here? Call the Calvary. Oh man, they brought the Land of War Elves back. Oh man, that's awesome. Kind of made the symbol a lot smaller than it used to be. Okay, here's some, here's a land. Memorial Folly. And then Separling Thalid. Okay, here's a rare. So the other one must be a mythic. This is a legendary artifact. Thrawn Temporal Gateway. I like this. You may put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Wow, I like that. Let's 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 keep my rares and mythic rare stuff here together. That's that's sweet. Got a couple of stuff here, and this is just a uncommon here. Yargle, Glutton, Erberg, Fog Spirit, 
9-3. That's a very unusual power and toughness. I don't get that. Man, I feel like I'm hitting some good cards. Maybe not for, uh, I don't know what the money value is on these, but I would say definitely I'm happy because I like cool cards. Let's see what's in this sucker right here. So far, I'm, I'm happy with my rares. Got some goblins. Wow, the blood's of goblins. Opt. Wow. Before they uh, had reprinted this, you, it was a common card as well, but you could you could actually sell this for several bucks just for a common card back in the day. I don't know uh, what the common one's going for now. Probably not as much because it has been reprinted. Rat Colony. I love rats. We used to play rat decks all the time, especially before. Let me get rid of whatever this is back here, a little cleric, and then my land. That way it saves the surprise. I don't know. They made, It looks like they've been putting, um, what is this? Equipment. Bring back Pegasus. Okay, so now we're here to some uncommons. Got another kicker from that. I like, oh, the Shizik. Wow, they reprint. Are all these, uh, is this a reprinted set? You guys can comment below. I haven't really kept up on, like I said, I'm new to this set. I haven't looked at any of these. But I am excited about the board game coming up. Here's a rare. The Daring Archaeologist. When Daring Archaeologist enter the battlefield, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Also, when you cast a historic spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Daring Archaeologist. Hey, all right. I got an uncommon uh, um, foil. That's pretty. Oh, wait a second. No, that looks like a rare. I can't tell. Man, I don't know. This is an enchantment saga. I like it. It's beautiful foil. I can't tell what the rarity is. It looks like it's a rare. But I can look it up later. But, man, I think, man, I'm just doing really awesome with these good looking cards knocking them out of the park okay this is my other rare here i'll start kind of putting these out here and this one is grun the lonely king got a kicker cost five five you put five plus one plus one counters on it if you pay the kick kaiser wow whenever grun attacks alone double its power and toughness until end of turn that for an uncommon is a fun card i like to play a lot of green ramping my decks ramp out the mana really fast see this is the type of card even though you know, wouldn't be great necessarily for tournament play uh, for a lot of these modern decks, but man, just for like some home decks, ramp out some mana real quick and you just, oh man, I love, I love green cards that you can ramp out really fast. Man, I feel like I'm just really knocking it out of the park with this. Oh, sorry about using that baseball reference, but man, I just feel like I'm so, so fortunate to get these. What's in this one? Okay, what else do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and sneak out the little back two cards, which is the old trick. The, usually the, that and the, that. And, okay, Adamant Wheel. Uh, Frenzy Rage. The Commons. The Ashes. Same, same. Oh, yeah, Unwind's a classic there. It's an instant, but yeah. Okay. Shib and Fire. Construct. Okay, here we got an uncommon land, the Memorial to Unity. All right, that's always cool. Here's something with a kicker four. Oh, okay, so the Antiquities War is a rare for sure. It's hard to tear in the. So that was my rare in this one. And then my bonus card or whatever here is another uncommon legendary creature, human rogue, Tsuku uh, Umizawa Fugitive. Creatures you control with power, toughness, one or less. See, a lot of these uncommons are really awesome here. So I got two antiqui antiquity. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't even talk tonight. Antiquities War. One of them's a foil and one of them's not. I did get a mythic here, the Karn. My last pack. Let's see if I can continue to get in some awesome stuff. I Man, this has been great, guys. This is really, really. Um... Sorry, I'm going to open up here. Let's see. Uh... Vigilance, Night, Forest. Okay, let's go. We got the Snapping Turtle. Hey, this is, wow, that's Hexproof, though. That's, remember there was a guy who built a Hexproof deck that was pretty formidable um, quite a few years back. Creature Human Lord. Guardians of Koilos. What is this? It's just a common, but I love Constructs. Okay, all right, we got another one of these things here. I'm not used to these enchantment sagas. I wonder if they use this. Okay, is this saga enters? Okay, interesting. Eldest Reborn, Orcish Warrior. Uh, and then this is my rare guy, Jasu Vest Lich Knight. He's a four five for four. 
He's got a six kicker. Wow. Oh, he's menace. And uh, he enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, create eight two two black zombie knight creature tokens with menace. Wow. So he's a four or five with menace already. But if you can somehow kick him, you get, that's a great. That's nice because early in the game you can get this guy, and if it's late in the game, if you hard cast him, wow, that's a sweet one as well. And then I got another um, dual colored man. I really love the artwork. I haven't really looked at these in a couple sets. Have, have they been increasing lately? It says whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw one card. Kind of a five high casting cost, but its ability is fantastic for that. Well, uncommons. I, I like building sometimes just for fun, straight uncommon decks. Okay, so to sum it up, we got for my rares were uh, Joss uh, Vest Lich Knight. We got the Daring Archaeologist. We've got the Anti Antiquities War, and then also the foil version of that. And we've got the Thrawn Temporal Gateway. And then last but not least, we got this Karn guy. Is my mythic rare and uh, not bad for just uh, five random packs that came to me. I think, uh, man, I thought that's home run, my friends. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Dice Matrix uh, random unboxing.